One, two, three, that's the time. One, two, three, please don't bounce. No, no, just a moment. The bounce is most unfortunate. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're learning the waltz. Now let's try it again. One, two, three, back to three. Please don't bounce. One, two, three. You're shuffling, Mr. Adams. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's quite good. One, two, three. Better, Mr. Cottle. One, two, three. 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 One, two. All right. That's splendid. Now we've conquered the fundamentals and we're ready for the turn. If you'll just take your partners and form a circle, please. Now, let us approach this new dance with freshness, with gaiety, and a decided degree of abandon. Uh, Miss Ponsonby, if you please. The elementary position is the male partner A places the female partner B. The male partner A places his arm around the waist. Around the waist? around the waist. Oh! I don't believe it. Well, what the is it? Oh, but, Professor, it's so daring. It's not daring. Only modern, European, graceful, normal. There you are. Now, let's all try it. Well, partners face each other. Gentlemen, place your arms around the ladies' waist. Bravely, bravely. It takes courage at first. One, two, three. That's the way. It's almost nine o'clock. The Providence coach leaves in an hour. Oh, to be sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for tonight. We'll continue the lesson next Wednesday evening. Oh, Professor, couldn't we do just one more turn? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, but I really must go now. I'm going to my aunt's for the weekend. Oh. Amanda, the rest. Good night, Professor. Good night. Good, Good night, night, Professor. Good night. Well, the others did. Good night, Professor. Good night. Thank you, Miss Ponsonby. Good night. Good night. You told me to remind you your aunt wanted her umbrella returned. Oh, thank you. I almost forgot. Do you mind if I... No, you give it to me. I can fold that better than you. Thank you. I'll straighten up the room. You'd better hurry. I'm told those coaches leave exactly on the minute. Oh, yes. Oh, just a moment. My music box. Have you ever traveled on the Providence Four Horse Coach, Mrs. Tucker? Mercy, no. I wouldn't tempt fate. The very danger of it that appeals to me. Speed, excitement.
Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Have you lost something, sir? Aye, that I did, matey. My gold lucky piece. Had it these 40 years. Man and boy. Oh. Bless you, matey. It isn't every fine gentleman that... Well, that's perfectly all right. I've plenty of time to catch my coach. Are you sure you lost it here? Well, I think I dropped it just about over in... Oh, look, I wonder if that can be... There you are. Well, that completes the crew of the bouncing best. Sharpen them cutlasses. Yes, sir. I've already finished those. Hmm. Do you call that sharp? What? Both of them. Aye, aye, sir. Finish them cutlasses first or I'll slit your gullet. down that cutlass and finish my galley knives? Yes, sir, but the boss... No arguing! First, they give me a tailor. I had to throw him overboard in a gunny sack. Then they gave me a schoolmaster. I made him walk the plank down in Panama. Now what do they send me for a galley boy, eh? Huh? A dancer! Blow away the longboat! Find your men, bring out those casks. What? Crookie, lend a hand with those casks. Pass son up. I want them back aboard filled with fresh water for the wind changers. Go on there, fast, go there. Come on, take a leg, you lazy lover. Go on. Come on, you lover. Get those casks over the rail. Come on. Come on take a leg. Hey, man. I've lost it. Shiver me timbers, I've lost it. It's gone. What? The gold lucky piece. I've carried it these 40, 20 years, man and boy. Oh, gold, is it? Stand aside, you swab. If there's anything here, I want it. Yes, sir. Well, you get it. We're all troubled with fleas. They bite the just and the unjust alike. Chucho, pirates! Heaven protect us. Blanca, Blanca, what 
is all that noise? I don't know. It must be something terrible, senorita. You'll wake up Don Emilio. What's the matter? Did the coyotes get your sheep? Uh, no. Is that a fire? No. Who's dead? No. <laughs> He is just a little bit crazy, but the shepherds get that way. <laughs> no, 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 calm down, calm down, now, 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 now. Tell us what is the matter, huh? Pirates! Where? Why didn't you tell me? You hear what he says? Pirates! What shall we do? Shall we go to the field? Shall we go to the hills? No, we go to the alcalde. He'll protect us. He'll promise him. What shall we do? Well, I'll go and, and put some clothes on. Get them cast off. Take them up to that spring. We've got to get back on board before the wind sets in shore. Now, just a minute. I'll take that one. You, you take the little one. Shake away. Get going. Where are you going? I was going to the spring. The spring's down there. Oh, yes, sir. Wait a minute. Put that down. You and me's anchoring right here. I don't see why Cookie lets you ashore anyhow. Sit down. Shiver me timbers, I've lost it. It's gone. Lost what? Me gold lucky piece. I've had it these 20 years, man and boy. Lucky piece? Yes, it's gold. Very valuable. It must be around here in the sand. What are you trying to do? Pull that old Shanghai story on me? I invented it. Sit down. Sit down! What's up? My children, the curse of the coast, the scourge of the sea, like a wild beast from the foam, has pillaged and ravaged Trinidad, Soledad, Felicidad. Felicidad? Yeah, well, uh, maybe not Felicidad, but anyway, they are upon us. Yeah, with fire and sword, they menace not only our possessions, but our sacred honor. <laughs> are we men <coughs> or are we mice? Shall we fight or shall we run? Eh. Your resolute faces give me the answer. Fight! Yeah. And 
And if we ran, they'd only catch us anyway. So, in defense of your homes and your loved ones, I, Don Emilio Jose Maria Salazar Pereira, your alcalde, dedicate my sword. My sword, I, go, where's my, I can't dedicate it. Will you give me my sword? Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Where was I? I, I Don Emilio. Ah, yes. Uh, I, Don Emilio Jose Maria Salazar Pereira, dedicate my sword. <laughs> Pampilo, si. we handle the artillery. Si. Men, get your weapons. Sons of Las Palomas, to Oh, the thousands. Will it uh, make much noise? Uh, terrifico. Terrifico? Si. Oh. Zenobia, bring the powder, bring the stuffings, and I'll bring the ammunition. Surely go, Ernest. Here, what are you doing there? This is war. Get away from there, scat. Go on. Considerate monster! Don Emilio! Don They're coming! They're on the road! What is with Don Speak up! I can't. Oh, yeah. The pirates! Oh. I saw their advance guard! The pirates! See! Advance guard, they're coming! Here! In the Black Palomas! To the ramparts! No shooting till I fire the cannon! And then. Massacre them! I'm not intruding, but... Women of Spain know how to die. I'm not afraid. You're not? I am. Do you think they'll leave us alone up here? I know your intentions. My intentions are to hide. These people are positively dangerous. 
Ah, that's an excellent idea. No, no, she went up there. In the senorita's room. Oh, we didn't find it. Is it all right? Will it hold together now? I guarantee. Yeah, well, put a little more powder in this time. I could hardly hear it. If, uh, if we do... Look! Yeah. Look, Don Emilio! A flag of truce! Yeah, stand forth, dogs! Oh, well, did the pirates surrender? I don't think so. Oh. They're in your daughter's room. In my daughter? What, already? <laughs> From there, you want to be shot? Stop! I prefer death to your embrace. Don't do that. One step nearer, and I'll. If you kill yourself now, you'll regret it. He's killing her. Stop that! Stop that! The pirate! But I'm not a pirate. Oh, did you think I was a pirate? Where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? Father! Nina! Oh, oh! What did he do to you? He, he, yes, oh, tell me again. What? What? He, he killed Blanca. You? I'll, I'll put you in jail. I'll, I'll hang you by your. I'll make it very uncomfortable for you. I insist. I'm not a pirate. Don't lie to me. I guess I know a pirate when I see one. Hey, Pompilo, you get our fastest horse and ride to Monterey and tell them that we've caught the most dangerous pirate on the coast. Don't send him to Monterey. What? We caught him. Yes. We are entitled to hang him ourselves. Oh, no, no. I haven't got the authority. I, I, uh, or have I? Yes, you are the alcalde. Yes. You caught him. Yes. We will build the gallows right here in the plaza. Yes, well, if we could do that, I mean, it would be fine. Let's hang him ourselves. I demand a hearing. I reiterate, I'm not a pirate. You reiterate, now take him out. See, fire, 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 fire. Pirates coming! Ah, here he is! I'm scotting him to my jail! Murder! Murder! Ha matado toda la familia! He killed Blanca! He killed Serafina! He killed the alcalde! No, no! My children, fortunately, I'm not killed. Wounded a little, perhaps, but what's that to a soldier? He What's the matter now? The pirates! Oh, the pirates? Are they coming? No, no, senor. They've gone. Men of Las Palomas, we've repulsed the barbarians. We've captured their leader. He will meet his just fate on the morrow. <laughs> This sacred blade with which I defended our city now becomes a symbol of justice. The... To which we may point with pride. Son como las burbujas bien de mi vida que forma el agua. Todas las ilusiones y el hijo lindo que la mostraba. Son como las burbujas bien de mi vida que forma el agua. I know everything will go all wrong. If we'd only had a few hangs before, I'm sure to mess it all up. And how they laugh at us in Felicidad. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> You're always in making... <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. I've never been so nervous in all my life. You think maybe a feather would improve it? No, I guess it's all. Well, are you ready now? Don't keep us waiting. I'm not going. You're not... It's a terrible thing to hang a man. But if you were my father, how would you deal with a man who tried to attack me? I cannot make myself believe that he intended to harm me. Uh, He's so young. And he doesn't act like a pirate. Well, and even if he were, is this the way to treat him? Well, I couldn't give a better hanging to my own brother. Oh, father. What's got it? What do you... I... No. Senor, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. You are only having one meal with us. Supper is our specialty. Pampilo! Si. Pampilo! Oh. The sauce! You forgot the sauce! Senor, excuse me. I forgot the sauce. Here. Here. 
No, taste it. Isn't that much better? Yes. <laughs> Senor, I hate your piracy, but I admire your good taste. Senor Pampiro. Si. Please, Senor, stand up. Step in. Gracias, senor. Adios. Adios. That's all, senor. Now you sit down. Come on, sit down here. Yeah. And eat these while it's hot, huh? You know that man Fernandez, he makes the most beautiful coffins. What is the matter, senor? Nothing. I'm not very hungry. He does not like my cooking. Oh, it is not that. He does not like me. You think I am not your friend because I wanted to hang you right away. But someday you'll thank me for saving you from that Don Baltazar. Ah, that Don Baltazar. Yes, he is the Capitan of the Guards up in Monterey. If we had sent you to him, he would have hanged you cruelly. But why should I be hanged at all? I'm not a pirate. I never was a pirate. I'm a dancing master. Viva Don Emilio! Oh, oh, senor, if you do not mind, it is time for us to go. Will you please do something for me? I'm in charge of this. When we were there, smile. <laughs> si, senor. Adios. Pamphilo. Si, senor. If everything is ready, we can proceed in the usual manner. Uh, what is the usual manner? Well, Your Excellency, yes. there are several methods. Yes. There is... But I'm going to use my own. Yes. First, I am no, going no, to... No, 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 don't tell me. Surprise me. Si, senor. Yes. Ernesto. Senor, are you ready? Si, senor. Vamos a Aquí, vamos pronto. Are you comfortable, senor? This is really going too far. I stand on my rights. I demand a hearing. Shh, please, don't spoil everything. But, but please, I... Please, please, shh. Musica. Ernesto. Senor, are you ready? What the... I... Serafina. Over at the jail, Zenobia gave him some cooked meat to eat, and he wouldn't touch it. That proves that he's a pirate. And him saying that he's a dancing master. A what? A dancing master. I knew it. I, I believe him. Serafina! One. Two. Stop! Stop! Father! Father! What? I thought you didn't want to come. What's the matter now? The hanging. He's not a pirate. What? He's a dancing master. A dancing? Who says so? He does. He'd do anything to save his own neck. But it's true, sir. I am a dancing master. Oh, you don't look like a... He claims he's a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I am, and I can prove it. It's ridiculous. You... It is not ridiculous. Yes, it is. He's, he's, he's... Give him a chance. No, we haven't time. I've got to... We... Father, you are being unjust. Unjust? I? Unjust? Well, I'm known as the most just. How can you, my own... Do... As Alcalde of Las Palomas, I order you to prove your preposterous claim. And if you can't prove it, mind you, it'll, it will... Uh, there'll be one of the... Music. Si, sí, senor.
ready. ashamed of himself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Any man who can dance like that and then prefers to be a pirate deserves to be hanged. Si, yes. Ernesto, yes. are you ready? No, no, no. Here, here, what are you doing? You will do no such Come thing. Here. Serafina, we don't want women hanging around the gallows. Now, you'd better... What dances can you teach? Why, nearly all of them. The minuet, the waltz. The waltz? Yes. Father, he knows the waltz. Well, what of it? You I... must postpone the hanging. He no. must teach me. Oh, now you're being unjust. The majority must rule, and all these good people want to see him hang. They don't. Oh, well, they certainly do. Uh, men of Las Palomas, do you want to see this man hang? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there you are, you see. Women of Las Palomas, he knows the walls. Do you want him hanged? No! No! Oh, uh, no, you go. The majority must rule. Uh, yeah, the major. Well, men of Las Palomas, you've heard the voice of the people. We'll continue with the fiesta, but we'll have to postpone the hanging till some other time. <laughs> please, please. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Don't thank me. Teach me. Yeah, but you better have the gallows taken down. But be sure and save the lumber because we might use oh, it. Oh, Don Emilio, I'm so sorry. I had everything fixed so carefully. Yeah, I know you would have liked it. Oh, I'm sure I would have liked it. What had you planned? Well, come over here. Yeah. I was going to fix the noose yeah. like this. Oh. Then, yeah. musica. <laughs> I was going to count like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Fine. And then yeah. I was going to drop the handkerchief like this. Uh, huh? Hey! Oh, Don Emilio! Don Emilio! Hey, Ernesto! Don Emilio! <laughs> that would have been wonderful. <laughs> Bye. 
my heart must know or lose its beat. Are you my love, my sweet? Serafina, come now, hurry up. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, Don Emilio. California reflejo sin par del vivir español California vergel sin igual de no sale centro California preciosa sultana que tiene un romance forjado en su California eres una de lindas mujeres en tu suelo nacieron And you still want to learn the waltz? You said you could teach me. Yes, you certainly did. You mean to say that I tore down the gallows for nothing? Oh, no, sir, I can teach it. Well, all right, then, go ahead. Pamphilo, uh, did you uh, search him for any concealed weapons? Si, senor. Oh, all right, then place one of your men at all. Now, you can go, uh, and no false steps, mind you, and no false notes. Oh, pardon me, sir, I brought my own music. You see, the waltz is a dance in three-quarter time. Oh. Senorita, please observe my feet. One, two, three, front, two, three, back, two, three. Would you try, please? One, two, three, please don't bounce, back, two, three, front, two, three. Very good, excellent. Splendid. Bear in mind, we must approach the waltz with a degree of abandon. Oh, very well. That's, but remember, you're a Salazar. And now for the turn. I shall demonstrate. Male partner A faces female partner B. Male partner A places his arm around the waist of... But you don't understand. The waltz is an intimate dance. Intimate? Anyone? Yes. Take him to the jail. We'll resume the hanging tomorrow. But you can't hang me for this. Why, I've done it to hundreds of women. Hundreds of women? Hundreds of women. Take him out. You're right, Father. He's just a pirate. Yes, just an absolutely. Clumsiness. Now give me your hands. Male partner A faces female partner B. Now, one, two, three. Please don't bounce. One, two, three. Now for the turn. 
One, two, oh no, Blanca, you must turn this way. One, two, three. You see, now if we were... Neil partner A puts his arm around Blanca. Could it be possible that the horse is dance this way? Oh no. But it is, look. Heavenly saints. Blanca, you wait here. I'll be right back. Senor Pirate. I've come to ask you a question. When, when you put your arm around me, it was necessary, wasn't it? It was part of the dance? Yes, senorita. You see, the waltz is It's a, a turning dance. Yes, and, and it must be done... must be danced with abandon. Exactly. The female partner, B, stands to... Wait. Male partner, A? What? Will you please teach me the wars? When you're dancing the wars, you must not lose your head, man. When you're dancing the Shyness instead, man. You are both vis a vis. Let your fingers entwine. You've no need for a second glass of wine.
Don Balthazar, Capitan. <laughs> well, what good fortune brings you here among us? The forces of a soldier, Bon Emilio. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> well. Oh, you knew? Oh, well, that amazing. How did you find out so soon? We were going to hang him ourselves. Hang him? <laughs> uh, yes, we had the plan all worked out. It was, but we found out that he was more of a dancer than a pirate. Pirate, eh? Yes, so under the circumstances, we thought that he shouldn't be hanged here. We thought he shouldn't be hanged in Montre. As a matter of fact, I don't think he should be hanged anywhere. Well, Don Emilio, that is for the proper authorities to decide. Oh, yes, well, I wouldn't. I'd turn him over to you if I must. But I wish you'd tell the governor to let him dance before he hangs him. Oh, I'll do my best. Chago, take charge of the prisoner. See me, governor. Soldados, we are on official business here, and if you just give us provisions to continue our journey... Oh, Don yes, Baltazar! Oh, my daughter, Sarafina, Don Baltazar. Oh, but we cannot let you return to Monterrey without granting us the pleasure of entertaining you. Senorita, it will delight me beyond the world. We cannot stay, we must go. We'll stay. See me, Capitan. Yes, it's a splendid. <laughs> Let's go inside. Senorita? I have a couple of bottles of old shake. A smart one. A smart one. A smart one. Come on. Hurry up. Hey. More eyelids. That's enough. Come on. You keep on working now. I'll be back. Now sit down, Tecolotti. You're tired. No, no, you must not help me. They nearly caught you yesterday. Never mind that. You rest. Am I late? Very disappointing news for you. Blanc has sprained her ankle practicing the walls. She can't come with us today. My heart is bleeding for Blanca's ankle. But of course it gives me a chance to be alone with you before I go. Oh, you mustn't think of going. I insist that you stay. Shall I accept that as my order? As a request from my father. I am sorry I take orders only from my superior officer. You commend me, senorita. Please stay. It will make you very happy far happier than I care to have you know. Mama, you watch for the soldiers. Ah. Chicken with rice. A nice little mouthful for you and the chief. You taste it. I'll do this. Gracias, senor. Gracias. Uh, this is too good for the prisoners. We are the guests. Get back on the wheel. Oh, Senor Chago, my prisoners cannot go hungry. I tell you to treat these people kindly? Uh, he should have been hanged long ago. That's up to the court in Monterey. Take a detail, soldiers. Start with them. 
for Monterey? Yes. I am remaining here as ordered. Don Baltazar, you are forgetting my dancing lessons. I am sorry. I have to send him. I have delayed too long. But tonight, a last lesson. All right. Does it take three duenas to watch one couple? Someone ought to be in the kitchen eating that chicken and drinking those bottles of wine. And the house. Oh, Perhaps it knows our dance is over. It's a pity. I was going to ask you to keep it. In Monterey, you see, there'll be no Alcali's daughter who wants to learn the waltz. Juanito, you're not going to Monterey. I'm not? Who decided that? I did. Pampilo is waiting by the garden. He will show you the way through the hills. So you're sending me away? Yes, there's no time to lose. You must leave now. Then must I go alone? No, no. Pampilo will guide you. But I'm not in love with Pampilo. I have a much better plan. You show me the way. Oh, but that is impossible. How could I go with you? Just by saying, I love you. <laughs> beauty brought me, love keeps me. Ah, well, love and beauty. <laughs> Serafina, fairest fruit on my family tree. She combines the grace of the Salazars with the brains of the Salazars and the spirit of the Salazars and a mother's cooking. To a man with my delicate sensibilities, she has but one problem. Uh, what? Her wealth? Oh, oh well, don't let that smell. What's 300,000 acres? 400,000 acres, you said? Uh, oh, did, uh, well, 350 acres. It's too much, too much for a simple soldier. Oh, what? What could I do with 60,000 head of cattle? Well, you could build uh, 30,000. 60,000, you said? Won't the cows have calves next year? I mean, 30,000 cows, a uh, 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 calf apiece, that's uh, uh, th for uh, 60. Oh, that's a bargain. The wedding in San Diego, the honeymoon in Boston. Oh, wait till you see my aunt. Signora Pride. Signor, Signora, Juanito Pride. That sounds nice. I'll go. Wait. Wait here. To the union of the Noriegas and Salazar. <laughs> and to the bride who awaits us above. Oh, to the... Wait a minute. Aren't we going a little fast with this? I mean, how do I... How do we know she loves you? How can you question me? Well, I... Didn't she invite me to stay where she first laid eyes on me? Uh, yes, that's right. She... I, that was a beautiful horse you rode. Didn't she detain me day by day? Uh, yes, I remember I argued with her about that. I, and when you took my bathtub, I, I got... Two weeks of soft looks and sighs. What does it mean? Uh, oh, oh, what does it mean? The girl is madly in love with me. Uh, yeah, oh, madly. She's crazy in love with you. And after all, who... Am I to stand between two lovers that I've, oh, I've been an awful brute. Father. Uh, uh, son. Shall we go up? Uh, oh, yes, let's. We can, uh, while we're, when... Yeah, uh, 
where are you going? Oh, we're just going to try it again. Oh. <laughs> and furthermore, your costume's just right. It's uh, the skating waltz on the ice, naturally. And uh, December's very cold up north. Uh, let's try it. One, two, three, one, two, three. You see, the lads and maidens gather on the village pond. <laughs> and they That's skate. enough. Thank you. You may go now. Will you please go? Pamphilo's waiting for you. Where are the guards who brought him? Pedro, come on. They're in the kitchen having something to eat. Pamphilo will take him back. Oh, will you please go now? Oh, no, wait a minute. Before you go, do you think that you could teach me the waltz in one lesson? I'd like to dance it at Serafina's wedding. <laughs> My wedding? Uh, yes, I, I wanted you to be the first to hear. Don Balthazar did me the honor of asking for your hand. And I did him the honor of accepting, and you have the honor of being engaged to him. I declined the honor. <laughs> oh, you can't do You mean you don't love my son-in-law? But you, that's what you... What, you told me that she was madly in love with you. I meant love often blossoms after marriage. That's right, I blossom. <laughs> well, why did you keep him here day after day, if not to marry him? She kept him here to save my neck. Now you know. It does not surprise me. She probably believes you innocent. She has a soft, womanly heart. Then, Don Balthazar, you will not... Know. I can do nothing, except, of course, my duty. Don Emilio, a moment ago, you heard your daughter refuse this man. Uh... You, uh, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Well, you're not going to force her to marry him. But certainly not. I wouldn't. You think that I'd make my daughter, uh, uh, and especially with Don Balthazar? Not if she got down on her knees and begged. I would. Uh, what kind of a man do you think I am? A gentleman. A gentleman who has given his word. Oh, my word? Uh, did I? Well, after the sixth bottle, I don't seem to remember, but if I gave the word of a Salazar, I... But you can't bargain away your daughter's happiness. No gentleman would force a woman to marry him. You are star. Take him away. Up with it. Blanca, ask Dona Isabella, the seamstress, to come tomorrow. Tell the bootmaker to come, and the girls who will embroider my bridal veil. Senorita. Oh, but wait a minute. There's no need for such haste. I mean, because I have a few drinks with the man, that's no reason to rush into matrimony. And after all, how do you know that he'll make us happy? Let us have a gay wedding. The gayest. Let everybody be happy. Everybody. Even the pirate, free, on his way to Boston? That's a wedding present. Andale, quick, just to see the bride. I'm not going. It's a wedding of two. Let him out while I get him a horse. Gee. Venga. Are you going? Oh, what can I do? It is too bad you haven't got any Spanish blood in you. You'll have a sore in your hand instead of this umbrella, and you'll die fighting for your woman. Oh, I left my bag inside. Huh? Would you mind? See.
Senor Pirate. Are you quite comfortable? Is your mount to your satisfaction? It's a pity we couldn't furnish you with a horse, but they were all needed for the men. You may go now. Chago! That umbrella looks awfully heavy. If he hit Baldazar over the head with it, I... Well, you couldn't marry a man with a broken head. Well, what are you waiting for? Perhaps you did not hear me. I told you to go. And I think it's only fair to warn you, if you are ever caught again around here, there is a price on your head. 500 gold pieces. I see. If he had broken the umbrella over his head, I'd have gladly bought him a new one. Are well. <laughs> They'd be ready, ready to fight. First, they must learn war dance. Learn it? What kind of Indians are they? Peaceful Indians. Their weapons are the rope. They don't know war dance. I'll make them dance. We share, we share alike. Every man for himself. Don Baltazar is getting his share. Yes, he is. I wish I never followed him out of Monterrey. Me too. Just because the governor kicked him out of the army is no reason why. Shut up. You want the whole village to hear it? Yeah. But just the same, what are we getting out of it? Oh, imbecile. A few minutes more and this whole rancho will be ours. 
Then we will milk it like it was a cow. Listen, I don't do that. Spine on us. No, no, I don't spy. Spine on us. Okay. You can hold me. You are not real soldiers. The captain is not real. The captain, Alcalde, help! Stop the wedding! Now stop the wedding. While we are here, let anybody stop the wedding, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Discourteous, my friend. You have interrupted my wedding. We will have to teach you better manners. We? Oui? I'm afraid you're alone this time. What? I go. See me, Capitan. <laughs> I will take care of you alone. I choose swords. Here, there, Bob. Oh, Father, you'll kill him. Well, I don't know. It's not so easy. I tried it a couple of times. More difficult than dancing, isn't it? Oh, 
amount to your satisfaction. <laughs> Give my regards to the governor. <laughs> <laughs>